Uh, hi, today we'll explore a new feature in PowerPoint that allows you to enter the hex value of a color inside PowerPoint. We'll also look at what a hex color means and where you can get inspiration, but let's get started. So now we have a rectangle or a square shape here. You can easily insert another one by you know, the insert tab and uh, shapes, select rectangle tool and click once. I can resize it as required. Uh, by default, it's filled with a color and that can differ from presentation to presentation and you can get a different color for depending on what theme the presentation uses. To change the color, we just right click and choose format shape and we choose a solid fill option, choose a color here and then to get more colors, we click on the more colors option and this is the colors dialog box. Now you always had this color model option and the RGB boxes here, but there's a new addition in PowerPoint and now you have access to the hex values inside PowerPoint. You can enter the hex value of the color rather than having to enter the R, G and B values individually. By adding the hex value, you can add all three of them at one time. So how do you do that? Okay. so. Um, just let's go and understand that the RGB value and the hex value is not different. They are just the same. It's just that with RGB, you're putting it in the regular decimal uh, digits we are used to, uh, a value of the color. And over here, we use hex. So uh, hex is actually 16 digit, uh, options or numbers over there. So rather than having 0 to 9, that is 10 options as a decimal, we have 16. So we have 0 to 9 plus we have A, B, C, D, E, F. So you, ha in, in a fewer digits, you can get more numbers. So over here, you have 255, 255, and 255, the maximum range over there. So you end up having nine digits here. But since uh, the same numbers where values can be identified in a fewer digits in hexadecimal, so we can do it in just six values over here. And the hash, the number sign that you see in the beginning of the hex thing is something which is automatically added to an indicate that this is a hex value in this case. So notice when I just go and change to, and choose another color, the, the RGB values change and the hex value changes too. The good part about the hex box is that it's uh, something you can just go and copy and paste anything you want here. So I'm just going to just say OK here so that we have a different value here. And I'm going to take you to a website called colorhexa.com. This is an amazing website. So I can I could actually just take the color value that I have over here, more colors, and that's A, B, A, D, 5, B. Copy this. I press Control C, and I'm going to enter my color value here and go and look up. And this is a color value. So if you have, uh, if this is a color that you're using for one of your boxes, and let's say, uh, let me just go and remove the shape outline. And I'm going to duplicate this one. And I want to use four of these boxes, but I want colors that work well together. And I want to do it quickly. So I could just go to a website like Color Hexa, and it's got wonderful color schemes available over here. And you can, uh, you have um, four colors here. It uses a cryptic color scheme. And this is the first color that we already have. And what I could do is I can just take the other colors here. Uh, if I had to copy the color, what I could do is I just go and it really, yes, I can copy it here. Control C there. And I'm just going to go here, more colors, and paste that value in the hex field. Actually, I think we copied the same field back again. No. Let's say OK. And you've got another color there. So you can understand doing this is so much faster because you have access to the hex values. Not only do you have access to the hex values, but the hex value options allows you to copy and paste over here, which is not so easily done using the RGB values. And if you combine this with a website like Color Hexa, and you can really create awesome color combinations quickly and easily right within PowerPoint. So all versions of PowerPoint wouldn't have the color hex color option. This is uh, only available to Office 365 subscribers as of now. And even with Office 365, you have to be on a version that's higher than uh, 12615.200000.
So if you are on a version higher than that, which at this point of time is Office Insider, then you have access to this option here that lets you add the hex color there. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I had fun creating this one and please subscribe uh, to get more tutorials to find out what's new in, in upcoming versions of PowerPoint and have a wonderful day. Explore more concepts at InDesign.com InDesign. Make better presentations. Fast.